They obtained many speakers, and she's done it again today, and she's going to introduce our speakers. Thank you, Dale. It really is a privilege for me today to introduce President Ronald Vaughn and First Lady of the University, Renee Vaughn. And it is a privilege. I look out at this audience and I see that most of you know Renee and Renee as well as I do, but not many of you have had the honor to work with them as I have. And what I want you to know when you hear and watch this presentation today, you're going to see a wonderful project that is going on. And what I want to say to you is President and First Lady Renee Vaughn work at everything with equal commitment and detail, as you can see by the transformation of the University of Tampa. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're, we're both we're, uh, very happy to be here. Uh, we're excited about uh, the story that we'll tell you about today. And we're going to give some preliminary comments, and we've got a video, and then we'll come back for a few more comments prior to opening up to Q&A. And we also have some additional information that we'll provide to you uh, at, the, at the end. So anyway. And, so the story we're telling you about is about the Susan and John Sykes Arsenal. Uh, it's actually a project that we've been working on for over two decades. Thank you, dear. The, uh, the Arsenora is a trademark by the Picard Bell Foundry in Annecy, France. The Arsenora is translated the art of sound. As Ron said, we have been working on this project for many, many years. It's incredibly exciting. And as you look at the video, I think you'll be as excited as we are to learn more about it. Thank you. You want to start the video? We will start the video. <laughs> Well, we took that variety of bell companies 
and the Picard seemed like the perfect choice for several reasons. First and foremost, they have generations of experience in building bells and bell towers all over the world. So, Dr. Will, this church is the first church where the Picard put the first bell in 1796 by our ancestor Antoine. It's really moving to know that the first bell made by our ancestors are still ringing today. What's the second bell here? Do you know? Si je survie à la terreur, if I survive terror time, I will ring for joy. And the bell survived. And the bell is still ringing 223 years after the making of it. If there is something common with all those generations of the car, it is always the curiosity of developing new bells, beautiful bells, and the research of excellence in every aspect of our process. Each bell is handcrafted from its master craftsman bell founders. Because we are living in a very calm, a tough 
four, I think, and we need this music, which helps us to to keep faith, hope, and uh, so for me sometimes sometimes it's even difficult because it's moving, but uh, most of the time it's uh, a big big moment of joy. One of the the key uh, importance with Arsene Mora, it is not only to get bells being played with a piano keyboard, uh, but as a capacity to play the musical nuances that a performer, a pianist wants to play. Dr. Boy, I'm very pleased to introduce you with my son Thomas, working as an electrical engineer to improve and to make the best dynamic system that is going to provide it for time. So I developed um, software uh, in order to make this uh, easier. The car has been developing and this is the course of many and many years. New dynamic electric strikers placed inside the bells. By depressing the key, a pianist by his training as a musician knows that when he plays soft, he will get piano nuances when you play hard, you get this one, you get here. But also with the capacity of playing at a very high velocity, meaning that a musician, a performer can play many, many strikes per second. Seven. So it's going to be a great improvement to provide any pianist a new instrument and also an instrument that will be able to really get the music out from the bells. So we have many people on our campus that could uh, play uh, the bells with this new electronic technology. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. <laughs> well, the Arts and Mora is an extraordinary project located right in the heart of our campus. Picture a sculpture, a beautiful sculpture that's 105 feet tall. And it's got 63 bronze bells on it from small ones to a larger one that's over five feet tall and weighs 5,000 pounds. And it's right in the middle of the campus and located at its base as part of a beautiful fountain. And then the entire area in this quadrangle all around it has got places for people to meditate and sit and enjoy or walk across campus to their next building.
United States, which will be in France also in all art. The Art Sonora is an incredible sculpture. It's an amazing musical instrument. I can't wait for people to see it, to hear it, to experience it in the setting, the beautiful setting of the quadrangle. I think it's going to be a wonderful addition for our campus and for the community. Thank you. 